What do you do when you chip a tooth? Good thing it's Dental Hygiene Wednesday. <laughs> I'm the lead hygienist here at Dublin Dental Care and I want to welcome you to another Dental Hygiene Wednesday. Um, every week we like to cover different topics or products that we use or believe in here in our office and feel like are important for our viewers and our patients to know about. Last week we discussed um, what to expect when you come in for your first visit here at our office and why we do what we do. If you missed that video, feel free to check it out on either our YouTube page or our Facebook page. All our previous videos are up there if you want to check them out. Um, this week we are actually talking about what you should do if you chip a tooth. Um, you know, the steps you should take and what you can do to help maintain any pain or anything you might feel until you're able to come into our office to have it checked. Um, chipping happens. It can happen from falling. It can happen from people trying to open things with their teeth, which we frown upon highly here. Um, you know everyday things, even if you just hit your teeth on something, it can happen. Um, there's different extents. You can either chip just the edge of your tooth or part of the enamel, which is this white part on the outside, or you can chip more and get towards the middle of the tooth. Um, so there are different types. If you chip your tooth and it's just like the very edge and it's not rough and it's not bothering you, you could probably wait to address this next time you come in for your cleaning, but if it's something that either aesthetically you don't like the way that it looks or if it's rough, um, if it's on the very edge, I recommend coming in. Um, you can call. Sometimes we're able to like, fit you in same day if we have the time in our schedule. We always aim to bring you in same day if possible, but um, we'll get you in as soon as we can if that is the case. If you do chip your tooth a little further into the tooth structure, this is your enamel, the hard part, this yellow part is the dentin, and that's a softer area, and then this red part is the nerve. So if you're chipping down into the dentin, you're getting closer to the nerve, so you might experience some pain with that. Um, if that does occur, you are more than welcome to take um, any type of pain reliever that you're able to take. Uh, we always recommend ibuprofen or Advil, they tend to do the best, um, relieving pain and swelling. Um, that will help with it. Heat, compresses, ice can help take care of that also. Um, but we'll get you in as soon as we can, like I said. We'll bring you in, Dr. Pignano will take a look. If it's a pretty big chip, uh, a lot of times we'll take an x-ray to see how deep into the tooth it goes, if it's close to the nerve or not, that way we know what's the best treatment for you as far as whether it's going to be just a regular filling, a crown, or you know, if you chip it enough and it's right by the root, you might even have to get a root canal before we can even do any type of treatment. So if we take an x-ray, that's why we're taking it to check and see how far the damage has gone into the tooth. Um, when you come in, if it's just a little bit on the edge of a tooth, a lot of times we can fix it with a filling. However, if it's more involved, we can do things such as on the front teeth, veneers or crowns to help make it look more aesthetically pleasing. Um, in the back, more than likely it'll be a crown um, if it has quite a bit of damage and a filling just won't do. Um, we want to make sure that we're putting something in that's going to last for you and that's going to work just like a regular tooth. So we'll evaluate it and we'll let you know what we feel is best to take care of that area and then we'll go from there. But definitely as soon as you can give us a call, we'll fit you in um, and make sure that your issue is taken care of. I want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, we always love seeing your comments and your likes on these videos so feel free to shout out to us, uh, let us know if you like the video or not. Um, but you can, if you do have questions for me individually, you can email me at christina at dublindentalcareohio.com and I will respond as soon as I get it. And then you are always welcome to visit our website. It's dublindentalcareohio.com. You can even book your next appointment there. So we look forward to seeing you. Have a great week and I hope everybody had an awesome Memorial Day. Thank you. Bye.